With this tutorial, we're going to make a skirt sloper. For the skirt sloper, we start the same way as the bodice, only this is going to be a little bit easier. Um, bodice is much more difficult. So I start off again by taping that side, by taping it to the doll body, and I'm lining it up with this um, line that we put on the doll's hips, okay, and so that it's snug, not too tight. And then I'll taper again in the back. I will now make pinch that same. What we're doing is we're creating that waist start, okay, and we want it to lay down on that princess line. So I'm going to pinch that space out along that line. So it's nothing. I'm going to smooth this. I'm going to clip this at the waist. And my line on the skirt, I would like to have that a little bit more like that, so it's straight. We can adjust it to be um, something narrower or flared afterwards, but for the basic sloper, we want it to be straight like this. So again, what I'm going to do is um, place another piece of tape on that back leg until we get the rest of the uh, sloper uh, finished. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, from that point, I can take my pencil and mark that waist. Mark the sides. And keep that straight. And then mark the dart, the point. Turn the dial over, and you see that I have uh, taped the uh, fabric to the dial, aligning her center back line with the vertical line of the fabric and the hip line, which will run underneath this horizontal line. I turn the dial, I fit this to the uh, dial's hips, making sure that it's snug without pulling, and we'll pull out the um, front lining up this hip line on the back with that of the front. Okay, and then I'm going to pin this so that it's snug. Once pinned, it will look like this. Again, I have smooth uh, pinched out all the excess that fall between the waist and the hip. And I will now clip a little bit into the waist to release tension. Again, I mark. I mark her waist. I am be sure to mark both sides of the dart, and where the, as well as where the dart ends. And I mark on both sides where the skirt along the side seam where the skirt is joined with the um, front. If it's crooked, that's okay. We're going to clean that up later and then I'll perhaps turn over and then remark on this front side again, making sure that you mark both sides of the um, skirt. Again, remove from the dowel, unpin, and then clean the lines up. I'll label so I know what's what. Okay, and repeat for the front. Once I've repinned it, and I'll put it back on the doll, taping it only at the waist to check for the, make sure that it's hanging properly. And make sure that this line is straight. Make sure that this line is going uninterrupted. 
and that the back is straight. And here's where I can adjust, check to see a need to adjust. And that's on the side. So I hold the doll at the side. I check my, my seam is going a little bit, whoops, seam is going a little bit towards the back. It should be really straight. And I can unpin and then repin this. I perhaps didn't pin this properly to begin with. And just make sure, because it should hang absolutely straight at the side seam. Oops, it's still falling. Okay, again, I'm going to um, check the doll and make sure that everything is falling fairly straight. So, my center front is feeling just with this taped one piece at the front and one at the back at the waist, and I turn the dowel to make sure everything is lining up as it should. Okay, I made some adjustments in here because it was falling tight, and you'll know because it'll pull that front line or that back line away from the front or the back of the dowel. My side at this point is falling nice and straight here, and my back when it's not flopping, <laughs> is falling straight down from the um, center back as well. And once you're really happy with the fit, then we can take it off the dial and transfer it to paper. And that will be the base of our skirt sloper. Trace the markings from the cloth onto heavyweight paper like Bristol. Do not add seam allowance. You will use these slopers as a base to create other patterns. At that point, seam allowance is added. Up next, the pants sloper. For ideas as to what to do with these slopers, come visit my blog at fashiondollstylist.blogspot.com.